Good morning and welcome to this week's Monday Minutes with Jesse and Kelly. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. And this week we're going to talk to you about Z3950 searches in the Koha cataloging module. Yeah, so if you're not familiar what a Z39.50 search is, it's the ability to search other public catalogs um, for records. So kind of an easier way to copy catalog, in my opinion. Um, so if you don't currently use this, this could be a way to search for records. If you don't find a record in the other ways that you're looking, you can certainly try a Z39.50 search. That being said, Jesse, we could add more than we, we have currently on Koha, correct? Correct. And there's a great resource that's available for free. It's like a catalog that allows you to go out and search for those particular catalogs. So it's called IR Spy, and it allows you to come out here and look for a target. So you can do a basic search or you can show targets by the letters in the alphabet. So if you know what you're looking for, like a specific library, you can just come in and do a search. Now, a lot of times, like if it's a specialty library, like a law library or a medical library, you can really narrow down your search. Um, but if you just come in here and just do a basic keyword search, it'll bring back a ton of results. So let's just look for a public library in the United States and see what kind of targets we get. So I'll just fill out those two fields and I'll hit search. And you can see I have some results. So I have access to Kansas, Seattle, Dallas. This, this, I really look at host connection reliability when I'm looking at it because if I see that somebody has, in my mind, tested this and they are actually getting results, that's a good sign. The untested, generally you'll get a an error when you add that target to Koha and then you try to search it, it'll give you like maybe like a network error or a timeout error because it just couldn't find any results. So, but let's, let's go ahead and grab this Kansas City Public Library. Perfect. And this is going to give you the information you need. So we'll ho I'll hold on to this screen and then pop over back over to the staff client. Z39.50 setup is in admin in Koha. Maybe you've it's kind of way to the far right. So it's not an area you usually generally go to very often. So here you have Z39.50 servers. So this will list all the targets that we currently have in our system. Most of the time, um, Koha will give you your Library of Congress is your base Z39.50 search. We also have Seattle Public Library in here. So let's go ahead and add another one and give it a shot. So nice little plus button there. What I love about this screen is it really tells me what's required and really that's what the IR spy is going to show me. So if I pop back over here, um, I'm gonna have the name, I'm gonna have the host, the ports, those are the most important ones. I'm just gonna move this to another screen now. Okay, let's do this. So the server name is the name that I just find in IR Spy. So Kansas, should I try to do a double, like put it on side by side or is that okay? This is okay. The host name, this came right from this site. The port comes right from this site. Database will come right from this site as well. So I'm not pulling in any information that I don't know already from IR Spy. Username and password you won't need to, to use here. Um, however, if you did want to search your OCLC, you could add your OCLC as a target, your OCLC connection, and then you would need your username and password. Mm -hmm. And some people use like Sky River, that's another one where you can add in your username oh. and password for these two. Right, right. Um, Pre-selected, so if this is something you want automatically checked when you're going through the C39.50 process, we can do that so you can save a click. I'm just gonna show you what that looks like when we go through. Um, where it shows up in the ranking, let's choose number one. Then the syntax will come over from the IR spy as well. So I'm just scrolling down. US mark, there it is encoding UTF-8. Now this is very important because if you have UTF-8 selected and the 
target that you're pulling from is Mark 8, you're going to get some crazy diacritics. So this is really important to pay attention to. Um, Koha's default is UTF-8. So you want to make sure that these match. OCLC, for example, their default is Mark 8. So if you're setting that up, you'll want to make sure that those match again, because you'll get those crazy diamonds, upside down question marks. Um, in there. So you can honestly tell right away if you've chosen the wrong one and you do one Z3950 search, Cafe Society is always my go-to test, and you notice that you have a, a diacritic in there, just come back, flop these out, and do the search again, and, and you should be able to um, fix that pretty quickly. Great, Jesse, because um, encoding is not listed in the IR spy, so, but UTF is a good way to start. Um, record type would be the next one you want to make sure most of the time you're going to be searching bibliographic records. However, if you did need to or wanted to add an authority search, you would choose that as the authority search and search that. I don't believe you can find authority search um, Z39 through this IR spy. Okay, so now it is listed under our Z39.50 targets. So we'll go ahead and do a little cataloging test. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we're going to go to cataloging. If anyone has never used Z39.50, that's what that button is. Once you go to the cataloging module, and this will pop up a nice little up for us. Let's move it so we get it down here. And now you can see that Kansas is pre-selected because Kelly checked that box, um, and it is added to our list. So um, you can, of course, uncheck that at any time if you don't want to search. Um, you know, during one particular search uh, in the system. And it, it is good to know you can have as many targets as you want. However, searching them all at one time may take longer. So it's good to kind of get a flow of what, what kind of records you like. I know that um, catalogers do are particular with their records. I was, what am I looking for? Am I looking for that accelerated readers? Am I looking for great subject headings? And you can find records on different targets in one way or the other. Kelly found a great one. San Francisco Public Library has generally all of the accelerated reader information in there. So if you're looking for a good target um, for AR, San Francisco Public Library is a good one to add. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay. Um, it didn't find, this is, I feel bad because this is like an, the paperback edition of the House of Spirits. Okay. And we, it doesn't look like Kansas has it but I could just try by title instead just to verify it's working. Should I do that? I mean, we did get a, we got a hit, but it's library. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's try another one. This is a good example, because now we can show multiple ways to search. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna do House of Spirits. I mean, there's probably about a thousand um, editions of this book. There you Here go. We go. So this is amazing. So now we get to choose. We have both Seattle, Kansas, and probably Library of Congress. Um, and you can see there's different variety ones. So which edition do you have? It's important. But of course, you know, we can go ahead and look at it. Oops. You get this Z39.50 um, record. This, I wouldn't say, mm, they might be, you, they might be Mark 8. Let's do it because now we can show them how they can go back in and change it and we'll do the search again. Okay. This is a good example. Mm -hmm. Very good. We're going back over to the admin. Edit this Kansas City and I'm going to change it over to Mark, Mark. 8. Perfect. Okay, so now we'll try that same search. High five. High five. I don't know if that's the one I grabbed, but let's see. Okay, yep, this one's better. Yep, so yep. it's Mark 8, because yep. that's the word. Okay, perfect. So then go ahead, 
that record is yours, import it and bring it over and do your cataloging thing. Perfect. So this is a great way if you do want to find more libraries to search records for, this is a great feature that you can do yourself. And as, as always, if you need help, just let us know. Yeah, absolutely. Have a great week. Have a great week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.